Earth is the third planet from the Sun and the only astronomical object known to harbor life. According to radiometric dating estimation and other evidence, Earth formed over 4.5 billion years ago. So, let's jump into the video to see a new Earth planet discovered by scientists. Before we begin, we publish good content videos every day. If you're not subscribed to the channel, just tap the subscribe button below and don't forget to like this video never or I will hypnotize you. Within the first billion years of Earth's history, life appeared in the oceans and began to affect Earth's atmosphere and surface, leading to the proliferation of anaerobic and later aerobic organisms. Earth's gravity interacts with other objects in space, especially the Sun and the Moon, which is Earth's only natural satellite. Earth orbits around the Sun in 365.256 solar days, a period known as an Earth's sidereal year. The structure of Earth can be defined in two ways, by mechanical properties such as rheology or chemically. Mechanically, it can be divided into lithosphere, asthenosphere, mesospheric mantle, outer core and the inner core. Chemically, Earth can be divided into the crust, upper mantle, lower mantle, outer core and inner core. In an exciting discovery, water vapor has for the first time detected on the atmosphere of a super Earth with habitable temperatures. K218b is 8 times the mass of Earth and is now the only exoplanet known to have both water and temperatures that supports life. The exoplanet is 110 light years from the Earth and orbits a red dwarf star. High level of activity of this red dwarf, K218b may be more hostile than Earth and is likely to be exposed more radiation. Scientists have discovered one in a million planet at the center of the galaxy. The planet is similar to Earth in both size and orbit, leading the scientists to describe it as a super Earth. Dr. Herrera Martin from the University of Canterbury said to have an idea of the rarity of the detection, the time it took to observe the magnification due to the host stars was approximately 5 days, while the planet was detected only during a small high heart distortion. After confirming this was indeed caused by another body different from the star and not an instrumental error, we proceed to obtain the characteristics of the star planet system. The new planet has a mass somewhere between that of Earth and Neptune and would orbit at a location between Venus and Earth from its parent star. This means that the planet would have a year lasting approximately 617 days. To find the new planet, the researchers used a technique called gravitational microlensing. Dr. Martin explained the combined gravity of the planet and its host star caused the light from a more distant background star to be magnified in a particular way. We used telescopes distributed around the world to measure the lightning bending effect. According to Dr. Martin, the microlensing effect is rare with only about 1 in a million stars in the galaxy being affected at any given time. This particular microlensing event was observed by three telescopes in Chile, Australia and South Africa. Professor Michael Albro, who worked on the study, explained these experiments detect around 3000 microlensing events each year, the majority of which are due to lensing by single stars. Dr. Herrera Martin first noticed that there was an unusual shape to the light output from this event and undertook months of computational analysis that resulted in the conclusion that this event was due to a star with a low mass planet. So I think you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to click the like button below this video and subscribe to the channel.